Good evening. Are you struggling to know who to vote for in this year's general election? Because... Same. In these few short minutes, we'll give you a rundown of the pledges that your parties plan to enact for you in your country for you! You! You know it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. Jeremy Corbyn, or Brian Adam, Jeremy Corbyn. This year, there are two major contenders for Supreme Leader of the United Kingdom, Father Christmas and that lady that nobody elected. Father Christmas is the Supreme Leader of the Labour Party. Labour. And when not giving gifts to good children, you can generally find him hanging out with grime artists. I'm Jamie. I'm Jeremy. Make, Make sure you, you register, register to, to vote. vote. And doing impressions of ghosts. Ooh. Ooh. Did anyone see that ghost? Joking, it was Jeremy Corbyn, leader of the Labour Party. That lady nobody elected rules over the Conservative Party. Conservative. And generally spends her time enforcing gender norms. I get to decide when I take the bins out. Not if I take the bins out. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, of course... boy jobs and girl jobs, you see. There's boy oh, really? jobs and girl jobs. And hunting ginger dogs. Personally, Teresa, I think that the gingers have been... Hurt enough. There's a bunch of other people involved, some of whom are doing good things, but our system is pretty much just rigged to ignore them, so... Bye. So I thought, in the spirit of fake news and the current trend of just making things up, we would make up some policies of our own for our favourite political parties. <laughs> Labour plans to double the amount of nurses on our NHS by cutting all the existing nurses in half. The Tories pledge to end mental health conditions by eating the brains of the mentally ill. Aye. Labour pledges to half the price of all train fares by forcing the Tories, who won't be in power, to drive the trains. The Tories plan to stop 18 to 21 year olds, vulnerable young people, from claiming housing benefits by just stopping 18 to 21 year olds being able to claim housing benefits. Uh, well, that one's actually true. Um, Labour will implement a 105% tax for the wealthy, meaning that the wealthy will be paying more tax than they actually own. Where are they going to get that money? I don't know. For the Tories, it's homeless people soup. You've heard of soup kitchens where the homeless get free soup? Well, how about turning the homeless into soup? Two problems. One stone, my friend. And now we move on to the smaller political parties. UKIP wants a free Dulux colour chart for every home in the country. So you can hold it up to your friends and find out just how cultured they are. The Green Party are going to be painting the entire country green and cancelling all jobs and work so we can have a 24-7 green party. The Liberal Democrats will be doing something and nobody really knows what. Where are you? Who leads you? The SMP will be getting into power and then leaving. What? Take me with you, please. I don't want to be here anymore. So whether it's Skinny Father Christmas, or the lady that nobody elected, or someone completely different, the point of this video is to highlight just how easy it is for you to be lied to. All around us, every day, you're being lied to by people who have agendas of their own. And when you go to the polling booth, if you go to the polling booth, please do if you can, make sure that the person you're voting for is somebody you're voting for based on truth and not based on things that you've been told. Even the people, politicians, and broadcasters you think you can trust spin things and lie about things. And sadly, it's not enough to just think you know anymore. If you're not from the UK, this still applies to you. The state of the world and the state of politics right now is a mess on both sides of the spectrum. And if you are from the UK, please, I'm not being paid to say this, I'm not lying to you, please go out on June 8th and vote for the person you believe will make the country and hopefully the world a little bit better, a little bit safer, and a little bit nicer to exist in. Thanks. <laughs>